Denis, great to see you again. We met at Blade Runner. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, nice to see you again, Dave. Like and Timothy, my dude. Great to see you again, my brother. Nice to you? see you. We usually hang out in Toronto. I don't know what's going on this time. I, uh, dude, thanks for remembering. Uh, normally we are in Toronto, although last time we were in a little Boston house and it was snowing outside. That was, uh, that was the Louisa May Alcott house. <laughs> it certainly was. Yeah. Uh, great to see you both. What an incredible film. Denis, I'm going to start with you. How much of a dream project was this for you, was Dune? Is it something you've always wanted to do now that it's here? Tell me, tell me where it ranks. It's, on that I level. will say it's 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 probably my one, if not the biggest dream, and and uh, because it's it's the one of the oldest. I started to dream about the, doing this uh, uh, when I was thirteen or fourteen years old. So I were talking about the uh, between thirty five years of of dreams. You know, it's it's a it's it's a long one and, uh, with deep roots, and and uh, that that's that is why it was for me one of the things that was the most challenging thing was to try to honor. That dream, you know, to try to reconnect myself with that that teenager who read the book all the deep, few, few decades ago, and uh, to try to bring back those image that I had in my mind when I read the book, and that was a not an easy process because the, I was when I was a kid, I was a big dreamer. <laughs> I dreamed <laughs> big, so that's why. I, <laughs> I think we all are, and we still are to a certain extent. Timothy, I am convinced there is, is, is you could do anything, my man. You, you, can, you are so talented, and this is no exception. And yeah, and your director, how about that? Did he? Did you, did you, bitch, this is, this is the, the challenge of a lifetime to have Denis being so kind here because this is a total master of cinema. So, I, you know, now my, you know, anyway, so. <laughs> no, but, but seriously. Yeah, no. it, it, oh, but I, 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 wanted, I want to sing your praises because this was not an easy role. And my question for you is, how challenging was it for you as an actor? I'm talking the action, the intensity, you know, the outdoors. I know you shot in Jordan. You totally immersed. Everybody did. Denis, you did as well as director. But how much of a challenge was this for you, Timothy? Well, I like that you started with Denis. I mean, one of my favorite still images from the shoot is one where Paul Atreides starts to have, a, without giving anything away, a sort of spice vision at the... Uh, foot of a spice harvester and we were losing light and Denis needed me to be kneeling in a very specific way and uh, didn't have the time to sort of, you know, get there slowly. So he just dove into the sand himself, showed me how to do it. And there's this great image now where he's looking at the monitor behind the camera, sitting the exact same way I'm sitting as Paul Atreides in front of the spice harvester. So to answer all those questions about the intensity, about the outdoors environment, about stepping into a role on a set, of this size for the first time, getting to work with the Javier Bardem's and the Rebecca Ferguson's and the Oscar Isaacs and the Zendaya's of the world. It all was, you know, the confidence to be able to do it came, you know, let's say 1% for me, 99% from Denis mm -hmm. and just feeling his, his belief and really in uh, without uh, being uh, sacrilegious or dramatic or whatever, the, 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 the roadmaps of young people that take on movies of this size and uh then like lose their minds in some way or are, are, are out there. And uh, I don't think I'm losing my mind. And I, I, I had the experience of being, I don't want to say on an indie film because obviously the crews were enormous, but certainly of Denise passion for the material and the lack thereof someone, at least in my estimation above him, that was trying to push him in any way, whether that's a producer or some corporate interest. Now this was his vision. As you guys were just discussing, this was something he was passionate about since he was a kid. And that sort of passion also as I become a young man, I get out of my, you know, my last gasps of uh, pure youth that like, you know, um, that's really nice when you feel that passion, that almost childlike passion coming from the director, every kind of people. And when you, and when the director, the master, the chief of the ship, you know, is obviously leading it, but isn't obnoxious with status and is actually in a thing of a community. Then it was like, you know, we were like an indie circus. Also, when you imagine Jason Momoa coming in flying out of nowhere, or, you know, we, we looked at it too. We all looked the part too. So, uh, it was a great joy. The whole thing was a great joy. Awesome. Listen, guys, congratulations. Again, great film. Thank you for your time. Next time, Timothy, we're in Toronto. We'll do this in person. Hell yeah. Next Thank year. You for you guys. Seriously, stay safe. So nice much. to see you. Stay safe. We, and we need, to get, we need to get some Dune memorabilia behind you, if that's cool. <laughs> Bro, I would love that. And also, 4,000 miles. I know we talked about that last time. Yeah. I'm bummed that we didn't I get to see you. I, mean, I, I told you I was going to see you at the stage. Sometime, sometime soon, I hope. That's still happening. We, we'll get it. Thanks, guys. Cool. Really, nice again, to see you. Appreciate Thank it. you very much.